The majestic animal has almost no enemies and does not attack anyone itself, being a herbivore. Today they can be found in the wild, in national parks and nature reserves, in circuses and zoos, and there are also domesticated individuals. Much is known about them, how long elephants live, what they eat, how long an elephant's pregnancy lasts. And yet secrets remain. This animal cannot be confused with any other, because hardly any other land mammal can boast of such size. This giant can be up to 4.5 meters tall and weigh up to 7 tons. The largest is the African savanna giant. Indian brethren are somewhat lighter, weighing up to 5, 5 tons in males and 4, 5 in females. The lightest are considered forest elephants up to 3 tons. In nature, there are also dwarf varieties that do not reach and 1 ton. A distinctive feature is the elephant trunk, which in elephants can weigh up to 200 kilograms. This organ is a fused nose and upper lip. Composed of over 100,000 strong muscles and tendons, its trunk is incredibly flexible and strong. They use it to pluck vegetation and put it in their mouths. The elephant's trunk is also the weapon with which it defends itself and fights its rivals. Through the trunk giants draw in water, which they then send to the mouth or pour. Elephants under a year old have a poor command of their trunk. For example, they can't use it to drink, but kneel down and drink with their mouths. But they hold on to their mother's tail with their proboscis firmly from the first hours of their life. Relative to the size of the animal, their eyes are small and these giants are not distinguished by sharp vision. But they have excellent hearing and can distinguish sounds, even at very low frequencies. The body of this large mammal is covered with thick gray or brown skin, riddled with many wrinkles and folds. Rare stiff bristles on it are observed only in cubs. It is practically absent in adults. The color of the animal directly depends on the habitat, because elephants often, to protect themselves from insects, sprinkle themselves with earth and clay. Therefore, some representatives appear brown and even pink. Among the giants very rarely, but still there are albinos. Such animals in Siam are considered iconic. White elephants were taken specially for the royal families, the decoration of the giant is its tusks, the older the animal, the longer they are. But not all of them are the same size. The Asian female elephant, for example, lacks such ornaments by nature, as do the rare males. The tusks enter the jaws and are considered incisors. How long an elephant lives can be known by its teeth, which wear down over the years, but new ones appear, growing behind the old ones. It is known how many teeth an elephant has in its mouth. As a rule, for molars. The ancient relatives of trunks appeared on Earth about 65 million years ago, during the Paleocene epoch. At that time, dinosaurs were still walking around the planet. Scientists have established that the first representatives lived in the territory of modern Egypt and were more like a taper. There is another theory, according to which the current giants descended from some animal that lived in Africa and virtually all of Eurasia. Studies revealing how old the elephant lives on our planet indicate the existence of its ancestors. Dinotherium Appeared about 58 million years ago and became extinct too. 5 million years ago. Externally, they were similar to today's animals, but were smaller and had a shorter proboscis. Homoptera. This animal appeared on Earth about 37 ma and became extinct about 10,000 years ago. Their torso was similar to that of today's long-nosed giants, but had four small tusks twisted up and down in pairs and a flat jaw. At some stage of development, the tusks of these animals became much larger. Mimutids, mastodons. This animal appeared about 10 to 12 ma. This species had dense fur, long tusks and a proboscis. Became extinct 18,000 years ago, with the arrival of primitive humans. Mammoths. The first representatives of the elephants. Emerged from mastodons about 1.6 million years ago. Extinct about 10,000 years ago. Were slightly taller than today's animals, covered with long, dense fur, and had large, 
downward-facing tusks, the African elephant, and the Indian elephant are the only representatives of the proboscis group existing on the Earth. The African elephant lives south of the Sahara Desert on the territory of many African countries, Congo, Kenya, Namibia, Somalia, Sudan, Zambia, and others. The rather hot climate of the places where the elephant lives is to its liking. More often they choose savannas, where there is enough vegetation, and can find water. Deserts and impenetrable tropical forests are practically never visited by animals. But the Indian elephant, on the contrary, prefers forested areas of India, Vietnam, Thailand, China, Laos and Sri Lanka. It feels comfortable among dense shrubs and in thickets of bamboo. This Asian elephant once lived in almost all of Southern Asia, but populations are now greatly reduced. The lifespan of the elephant in the wild is much shorter than that of its domesticated counterparts or those living in zoos or national wildlife refuges. This is due to the difficult conditions of the places where the elephant lives, diseases and brutal extermination of giants. Scientists are still arguing about how long the wild elephant lives and how long they live in captivity. Undoubtedly, how long an elephant lives also determines the species to which the mammal belongs. African savannas live the longest, among them there are individuals whose age reached 80 years. Forest African trunk elephants are slightly less 65 to 70 years old. Asian elephant in domestic conditions or in zoos and national parks can live 55 to 60 years in the natural environment as long livers are considered animals who have reached 50 years of age. How long elephants live depends on the care of the animal. An injured and sick animal will not be able to live long. Sometimes even a minor injury to the trunk or foot is the cause of death. Under human care, many diseases of giants are easily treated, which can significantly prolong life. In the natural environment the animals have almost no enemies. Predatory animals attack only fought-off cubs and sick individuals. As herbivores, trunked animals spend more than 15 hours a day searching for food. To support their immense body mass, they have to eat from 40 to 400 kilograms of vegetation a day. What elephants eat depends on where they live, grass, leaves and young shoots. The elephant's trunk picks them up and sends them into its mouth, where they are thoroughly ground up. In captivity, the elephant eats hay, up to 20 kilograms per day, vegetables, especially prefers carrots and cabbage, a variety of fruits, grain. Sometimes wild animals wander into the fields of local residents and gladly eat corn, cane, and grain crops, the animals are very social, they unite in herds, with the oldest and most experienced female at the head. She leads her congeners to the feeding grounds and keeps them in order. Scientists have come to interesting conclusions. All individuals are relatives. As a rule, these are females and immature males. Adult males leave their family and often live alone or in the company of similar bachelors. They approach family herds only when they are ready to breed and at the call of females. The animals have very developed family instincts, everyone has his own role. The whole family takes care of the kids. In case of an attack by predators, the elephants are surrounded by a tight ring and drive the enemies away. Unfortunately, how long an elephant lives depends on whether the family was able to save all their offspring. Baby elephants often die from disease, weakness and attacks by predators, lions, tigers, cheetahs, hyenas and crocodiles. To survive, the giants need large quantities of water. In a day they can drink up to 200 liters, so animals try to stay close to bodies of water. In the dry season, they can dig wells, which saves not only themselves, but also many other animals. Elephant mammals are very peaceful animals. Cases of their attacks on other animals are very rare. They can suffer only when the giants, frightened by something, trample on those who get in their way. Before they die, old animals go to a certain place, the elephant graveyard, where many congeners have died, and there they spend their last days. The rest of the family sees them off and says a very touching goodbye. Animals become sexually mature in different ways, males at the age of 14 to 15 years and females, 12 to 13 years. When females call and smell her, several grooms come, 
and they sometimes stage duels to decide which male will stay. The female elephant watches the challengers and leaves with the winner when the battle is over. Elephants mate at a distance from the herd, after which the pair may stroll together for a few more days. Then the male is removed and the female returns to her family. It is quite interesting how long pregnant elephants walk around. Elephants carry their cubs for quite a long time, 22 to 24 months. The elephant's gestation period is counted from the time of mating. Pregnant females live together with their herd, and males never come around. Compared to other mammals, elephant pregnancy lasts a record time, they nurture cubs for almost two years. The large size of females sometimes makes it difficult to see their interesting position at once, so you can only count how long elephants have been carrying their cubs since mating. Elephant pregnancy usually ends with the birth of one or, less often, two baby elephants, which weigh up to a pound. The expectant mother moves away from the herd accompanied by an experienced female, and gives birth to the baby, which can already stand on its feet and suckle milk in two to three hours. The new mother returns to her herd with her baby elephant holding her tail. How many years a male elephant lives in the herd is determined by the onset of sexual maturity. Young males leave their families and live alone. The females, on the other hand, stay in the herd until the end of their lives.